Nigel, what's lit your fire recently? Well, I think um, the, the, the massive change we're seeing in AV and that collision between IT and AV, it, it keeps sort of sucking me, sucking me back in. If Hasn't you it like. already collided? And that is. Yeah, it's everything turning into software, um, or largely turning into software. But I think the, the whole unified communications piece where that's colliding with AV is becoming increasingly impressive. I think it's still got a, quite a way to go, but what I do like is the fact that we're seeing increasing use at a personal level, uh, maybe talking heads, and being able to then sweep into a room and have a much bigger con uh, conversation on a room level, um, and the inter interoperation between those. Um, and I think as that matures, that will become an increasingly important tool. How far off true interoperability are we in the AV environment? I mean, do, do products really work together seamlessly as, as one would hope them to do? I don't think they yet do. As I say, I think it will become increasingly mature and sophisticated, but I think there are still some issues um, a lot of them driven by networks and network issues, and that highlights the whole thing, really, of we're here talking about the future of AV. AV has got so much dependency, particularly when you get into the, the, the IT world and dependencies are on that, and until, you know, those things need to pick up, even on a broader scale, on a, on a wider area network scale. Um, but I think the, the potential for it is excellent, fantastic, particularly in a business, business context. Um, but it does expose some other things. And it, it, I think beyond the technology itself, it exposes also the management within companies where AV is still quite often siloed with FM, IT sits somewhere else, maybe HR and change management is sort of in the mix or should be at least. Um, and these things are still quite often quite, quite divided. Deborah, you've, you've installed an awful lot of technology at QE2, haven't you? A major overall going on there. Yes. Uh, you're both a, a potential user and you put on semi conferences and all kinds of stuff, don't you? Our main, our main project is where you're talking about um, AV and IT. We've installed an IPTV system. Um, we had to have collaboration from two separate divisions, I, IT and, and AV, and that collaboration doesn't always work, but in this case it had to because obviously we're sitting on the network and in fact it's worked out perfectly for both they can both see the advantage i'm saying both management streams can see the advantage of of working together so that they save themselves time and money and deliver something that is client worthy our clients basically want to see pictures here there and everywhere and they don't care who does it they don't care how it's done they just want it done cheaply and seamlessly and that's where iptv came in and we had exterity come in they did lots of surveys, they um, scoped the project, and, um, and then we had Feltech come in, and what we've done is we've put in everything on the network, but to back it up, we've put in an Extron switcher as well, so we've actually got point-to-point -point IPTV as the backup. So when we do a really, really big conference, like, like we did the Syrian conference a couple of weeks ago, then we're, we're, we're not just relying on one section, we've got backup in place. Um, and just going, if I could just add to that, just going back You're on to a roll, I, I can tell. <laughs> ISE, the thing about ISE, we went, we just used it to go shopping essentially, because we just, we just need some kit, and there are two things coming up for us there. One is quad resolution. I, I understand the Chinese, of course, have gone straight, you know, to 8K, but we're just looking at quad at the moment, um, and it's not quite quad, is it? It's the, the chipset isn't quite there. A lot of people are showing stuff that's called quad, but it but it's just underneath, isn't it? There are just one or two companies, uh, Christie and people like that, who are showing true. Um, and the other thing we went shopping for is digital audio. Um, and our, our venue is just full of copper. So, um, we've got a fiber backbone that's now in there as well. But at the end of the day, we've got to, as, as the bandwidth does this, we have got to evolve and move through that. So again, IT and AV have got to work together to bring about that project. We've got to do it before 2017 or whenever Because planning for new technologies, is, uh, yeah. we'll go on to that in a minute. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a now. really difficult thing to do, isn't it?